Somehow I have overwatered it, underwatered it, I don't really know, and all of the flowers have fallen off, so now I'm just left with three buds and a lot of twigs. Today I thought I would film a study day in the life because I have an exam on Thursday and Friday, it's a 24 hour at home exam, and I thought it might be interesting to show you how I was preparing for that, and I'm also gonna film the exam itself, that will be the next video. So it is Tuesday today, it is currently 10 past 10, which is quite a late start for me. I got up at 9 a.m. this morning, which might sound a bit surprising when this is supposed to be a productive study vlog because I feel like so often there is a certain productive narrative and that includes getting up as early as possible in the mornings, but I don't think that is always the most effective thing to do. Yesterday, I was so tired Tired. I just haven't really been getting enough sleep recently. So I knew that personally the most productive thing that I could do today is actually just sleep in a little bit longer so then I have more energy to do the work that I need to do today. I've just planned out my day on Google Calendar and I've got four blocks I think of work today. So I'm aiming to do around four hours work, but it's not really about the hours. My actual to-do list today is I need to do the last four readings that I have before my exam. So today these are the ones I have left. I have two for week nine and then I've also got two for week 11 that I need to do and then I am completely caught up. I know it shouldn't be, but I find it the most satisfying thing when I have a really long reading. Like this one's 22 pages long and it's two columns, but then you get to a point like this and you're like, ah, I just don't need that. And then you can skip like five pages. So I have been studying for one hour so far and I'm not gonna lie, I am quite bored. I successfully read one text really quickly, but this second one that I'm currently reading 
is just quite dull like it's not an interesting topic and I don't think it's even going to be that relevant for the exam so I'm just trying to read it quite quickly but I just keep losing focus so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break now and go and do a food shop because that is something that is also on my to-do list today because I want to make sure that I have stocked up the fridge and I'm also going to do some meal prep later so I don't actually have to worry about doing that during the exam because exam preparation is not just necessarily obviously doing the work it's also making sure that you're prepared in other ways and yeah I need to prepare <laughs> my fridge because that's quite important to me. <laughs> Why does doing a food shop always feel like such a workout like I'm literally red and sweaty and out of breath now <laughs> today and I actually flew through that one because it was about Danish modern furniture so it was actually really interesting but yeah I'm on to my last text now which is about refugee innovation so hopefully this one is going to be interesting too and then we're done with the reading for this module. p.m. now and I have finished all of the reading that I wanted to do today so I'm really pleased about that. After that though I did crash a little bit and I have spent the last half an hour down a YouTube rabbit hole watching Emma Chamberlain interviews. Really random, I don't know how I ended up there but once I was there I just kept watching more <laughs> but I have had a snack now and I've made myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna try and pack Hour through a another hour now and do some essay plans because I often find those really effective once I've reached the end of studying or doing all the reading in this case. I feel like it solidifies what I've learned in a really good way and also highlights anything that I haven't taken on board as well. excuse how dirty my laptop screen is but you might have seen this table in my last study vlog it's how I keep on top of everything that I need to do for all of my modules and I'm just going to update it now because I've actually completed all of the three remaining things that I need to do for my innovation module so as you'll know if you've watched any of my more studious <laughs> videos before I always like to do the majority of my work during the day 
day and then if possible leave the evenings to relax because that is just the way that I work best. As I mentioned earlier on in the video when I went to do a food shop, I'm planning on doing some meal prep tonight. So I'm gonna start doing that now and I'm gonna be making this BBC good food recipe, which is a tomato, pepper and bean one pot. My friend Maeve sent me this recipe and it's so good just as a base for meals. I wouldn't recommend just eating this on its own. I don't think that would fill you up, but I find that it can work really well as a pasta sauce. You could have it with rice. You could have it with bread. That's basically how I eat it throughout the week. And it's also super simple to make as the name suggests. It's all in one pot. And that is what we love. <laughs> It's 20 past eight now and this is where you will find me for the rest of the evening. I just finished FaceTiming my friend Nat. It was really nice to have a catch up with her. I've cleaned up all of my dinner stuff and now I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and continue watching Downton Abbey. I know it might not actually seem like I did a lot of studying in this video, but I have always been a big believer in quality over quality quantity and I think that definitely can apply to the way that you study. So today I planned out four hour blocks, so four blocks of one hour to do work and during those one hour slots I put my phone away, I try to get rid of as many distractions as possible and just focus on the task in hand and by doing this I find that I am way more efficient with my work. I find that I do the work a lot quicker and it means that instead of me sat there for like eight, nine hours slowly working or inefficiently working, I can just do the work during those time blocks and then around that I can do whatever else I need to do. So food shop, meal prep, calling my friends, watching Downton Abbey. And on that note, I am going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you on Thursday and Friday when I actually have my 24 hour exam. Thank you.